scriptures or dharma shastras dharma shastras are usually written very directly direct advice in the short sentences it is called sutra sutra means thread the main thought is written in such a way that you can meditate on it and derive more and more inspiration all yogic scriptures are written like that vedas upanishads and all other scriptures original scriptures are in the form of sutras later on they write achar shastra achar shastra means how to follow the rituals and practices the later on they become puranas or metaphoric stories so metaphoric stories are fantasies stories to explain the main essence so the original scripture gets lost into rituals and further gets lost into metaphoric stories and this happens in all the religion this happens to all the original teaching teaching of krishna teaching of buddha teaching of christ teaching of muhammad all of them original teaching later on gets translated and it picks up the influence of new language new culture and interpretation of the scholars so as it goes further and further down it, it gets diluted so one should focus on original teaching and derive the greatest meaning so christ teaching for example direct teaching will be sermon on the mount and teaching of christ in sermon on the mount is like teaching of vedanta but new testament is written by followers of christ after several hundred years and it gets totally contaminated and diluted and misinterpreted so to get the essence of any teaching of the master you have to go to the original source and meditate on it in hinduism similar thing happen people got caught into rituals they got so contaminated that they included the worship and pleasing the lord by killing the animals animal sacrifices buddha came at that time and he revived hinduism hinduism again got caught into metaphoric stories gods goddesses demigods and you worship the gods for attaining special powers these powers you attain for yourself and also hurting your enemies so the teaching gets more and more diluted and gets further away from the true purpose true purpose of every teaching of scripture and spiritual master is go within and know thyself instead of that it becomes further away from it in india they establish the caste system caste system man you evolve spiritually from shudra class or lower class where you are more caught up into survival to vaishya class which is trade and profession then warrior class or politicians who govern the country and brahmin class who are the priest and spiritual leaders instead of that they made it into caste system depending upon your birth so you are born shudra or untouchable you are treated poorly and you are brahmin or politician you manipulate manipulate and take advantage of the society this is wrong interpretation hinduism lost a lot because those who were treated poorly like untouchables and they were deprived of their human rights they turned to islam and christianity they did not turn into true islam 
or true Christianity, they became rouse, rice bowl Christian. They joined the religion just for survival. But later on, their children got more program into the religion. So Hinduism lost all the treasures and created harm to the religion and society. Jai Bhagavan.